no idea what I was walking into. Like, I saw their picture, like, saw some videos, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, I know what a debu was in the Philippines, but yeah. I didn't know what it would entail, like, here in the U.S. with, like, a group of people. Yeah. At first, I thought it was, like, kind of lame or kind of cliche. It's like a quinceanera where it's just a woman being presented into adulthood. But then when I saw the dance, I was like, oh, wow, they can actually do the walls. They're doing like pop culture dances and everything. I thought it was really cool. Well, I mean, I kind of already knew I wanted to be a debutante for like the longest time. I was going to them ever since I like came here basically to Minnesota. And so I was like, oh yeah, of course I'm going to do it. Like Sunday for a couple hours rehearsing and then we have like, a whole event. Like, yeah, why not? So it like didn't, it didn't like, it was just like another fun thing I was gonna add onto my schedule. <laughs> I, 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 that's that's was my first encounter of, of Filipino Americans. The, the debutante. The debutante ball, because for for you know for a couple of years I didn't have any Filipino friends, like I said. So I had white friends, and black friends, and Latino friends. So, yeah, but it, it, that that the whole that whole saying of you know when you don't use it you lose it. I almost lost my thing. This is something that offers a great opportunity for them to embrace their identity as Filipino Americans who value their traditions and who are proud of their heritage. And that's how I see it.